gave my two weeks and got cursed at. X200B I've been working at a mom and pop company in NYC for a year, earning a meager $40,000 annually. To provide some context, this company generates over $30 million in revenue, yet offers no benefits, a toxic work environment, and no work culture. The poor warehouse workers who are mainly Hispanic are treated like slaves and it pisses me off. In addition, the owners who are pushing 80 would police the office workers from speaking in our native tongue to prevent gossip. Yesterday, I finally decided to quit after landing a fully remote job offer that's more than double my current salary, and includes benefits like 401k and health insurance. I handed in my two weeks notice, but my manager had a shocking reaction, she cursed at me and accused me of using the company as a stepping stone in my career. This is so f ed up your f ed for doing this to us you effing used us as a stepping stone in your career personally. What you're doing is so f ed up and manipulative. I used to respect my manager, but now I'm unsure if I should stick around for the two week notice period. The vibe in the office has turned completely hostile and management hasn't addressed my resignation yet. X200B What should I do? Should I endure the two weeks or leave immediately? I'd appreciate your advice. X200B X200B If you don't need the two weeks pay, I wouldn't go back. If they reacted like that, the bridge you are attempting not to burn by giving two weeks notice is already burned. Get out now, don't give them any info on your new employer and put that place in your rear view forever. I wouldn't endure the two weeks I would enjoy them. I would laugh out loud every time they tried to pull some shit. NY is a one-party consent state. Record them and their tirades. They will try to gaslight and withhold pay. All jobs are stepping stones and if a company doesn't offer advancement that's on them. What a weird fucking boss though. Oh like they didn't use you and continue to use and abuse the current workers. F them. People grow and move on. They are being selfish expecting you to apparently give your life to this crap company. No one wants to we RK anymore. Here's a question if they were looking to fire you, would they give you two weeks notice? You've got zero reason to eat up any further abuse. Used us as a stepping stone in your career. Like what else were you gonna do? Personally I'd endure the two weeks, but realistically if there's nothing stopping you getting out then do it. People usually project what they are guilty of when they get emotional, you have a manipulative manager who is using you, if you can afford it leave. So my response would have been you used me as a stopping stone for your profits. Alright, well to be honest. I probably wouldn't have said that. Instead, I would have gone with fuck off, and you can forget about the two weeks notice now. Wouldn't be the first time LMAO. I'm not good at constructive arguments in the heat of the moment. But you know what, every horrible job I've left on bad terms has always led to something better. Hate is a hell of a motivator. So with that logic, the job you landed is bound to be great or at least better than what you were doing. They structured their business as a career stepping stone. You don't get to retain talent for 40k and no benefits in New York fucking city. They want the laws of capitalism to not apply to them. Help your co-workers form a union on your way out. Why are you staying the two weeks? Just leave. They deserve no more of your grace. Do not tell them anything about the new job. Nothing. Did you work for the GC I worked with? He gave countless co-workers who quit the same exact spiel. I only got away clean because I was moving row help family. OP it is a violation of your rights to limit the language you speak at work. English only rules are considered discrimination on the basis of national origin. Two week notice is a courtesy extended to those worthy of it. Cool two weeks became two words. I quit. You don't get paid to put up with that bullshit. Don't go back. 
If you do quit ASAP, do not tell them anything about it it's none of their business and they may try to sabotage and screw you over. If they do insist on you telling them and won't give up, just make something up about a totally random company. That way, if they do try to fuck you by calling your new job, they'll look like idiots. LOL at you're using them as a stepping stone. What do they think most jobs are? I would have changed my two-week notice to a two-minute notice the moment they started cursing at me. You just landed a job with a 100 pay increase, there's literally zero reason to stick around. You'd do so for courtesy and respect for your bosses, but they clearly aren't extending the any of that to you, so just treat them as they're treating you, and walk away and enjoy a two-week vacation. Also like, why are they accusing you of using their job as a stepping stone in your career? Isn't that what jobs are supposed to be LMAO? If you can afford to, take the two weeks off and don't look back. Providing notice is a professional courtesy, not a contract for two weeks of hostility. I gave a two-week notice to move out of my friend's bedbug-ridden apartment. His wife yelled at me that I was a bastard and how could I do this to them? Unreal. I would give it right back to them and quit on the spot. Yeah you're a fucking stepping stone, shithead, you think anyone wants minimum wage and living at home for the rest of their lives. Leave immediately to resist the temptation to break shit. You got a new gig, just bounce. Manipulative my ass. But I gotta ask, what kind of mom and pop shop is this? I don't know of too many in the city, let alone one any that generates those kind of profits. Prohibiting any workers to speak their native language is illegal. Employers can get into some deep shit for it. You or the WH workers can file an EOC claim for it. Don't go for the two weeks, if you can afford it. Make sure you get your last check first, maybe. So. They expected you to work your entire life there. What idiots. Just leave. Make today your last day. I would leave and enjoy my two-week break. If you don't offer benefits that's exactly what you are a stepping stone for someone's career. They did it to themselves, now they're showing their true colors. After their pathetic outburst, I would withdraw my two weeks and leave. Don't talk to Emmy about used, asshole fucking 40k and no benefits for this shitty place. Shut it down now, or I'll leave and go to EEOC and honestly claim a hostile work environment. You fing used us as a stepping stone in your career. Yeah, and? Cry about it. What should I do? Tell them, my giving you two weeks notice was a courtesy. Since you have shown me no courtesy in return, my resignation is now effective immediately. Then pack up your stuff and walk out like a boss. Start the new job earlier or take your former notice period to rest up. Leave, why would you subject yourself to abuse for two more weeks? Just leave. She seriously accused you of using them? What have they been doing all this time except extracting massive profits from your labor? Fucking hypocrites. Seriously, get all your stuff from your locker if you have one, send a text message and don't look back. Mom and pop do not have the reach to blackball you in NYC no matter what delusions under which they might operate. What should I do? Leave. Pronto. This is so fed up you're fed for doing this to us you fing used us as a stepping stone in your career personally. What you're doing is so fed up and manipulative. Yes using a job to step into another job is a thing. It's the only way to get a raise. Them swearing at you for giving a professional courtesy is fked. Isn't every job ever a stepping stone in your career? Another show of an out-of-touch individual company mindset. Technically every company is a stepping stone in your career. You tell him he's lucky he's just got two weeks. How dare you step a step forward in your career? OP, shut that shit down. Tell them any more harassment about my notice will make it immediate notice. Also, I would absolutely call Dole Osher, I wouldn't be surprised if they were doing some shady shit. Every job is a stepping stone to your next venture. Fuck that person. Definitely main character who only cares about themselves. 
I'm out on the island and I'm sitting here wondering if we have the same bosses.